Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. We don't know if it was his exuberant pronunciation of the word new or that cute little baby giggle at the end. Hi, Ben. <laughs> After me, ready? Happy? Oops. Happy? New? New? New. Yeah. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> anyway, now what do you want to do? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Our little prince Archie made his podcasting debut on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's Archwell Audio. The Duke and Duchess have released their holiday special episode, where they have brought famous guests such as Tyler Perry, Elton John, and many more. But we have to say the most famous and highly anticipated guest was little Archie himself. He joined his parents to wish us all a happy new year. He has the most adorable laugh. The description of the episode read, as we come to the end of this year and look to the future, let's hold on to the lessons we've learned about how important it is to take care of one another and how meaningful our connections are, even when they're physically impossible. Harry says on the holiday special, We thought, what if we can bring together some people that inspire us, people that we admire, and get their thoughts on what they learned from 2020. We want everyone to hear back with us Archie's voice. So cute. I can speak in turn. Archie, is it fun? Hi. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy? Oops. Happy? New? New? New. <laughs> really listening to many times still not bored listen again everyone you can speak in turn archie is it fun Hi. fun <laughs> after me ready happy Oops. happy new 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 <laughs> <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> In other news, we hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. If you celebrate, I sure did. We woke up to a lovely article that mentioned that the Sussexes bought 100 handmade woolen hats from Kiwi Knitwear Social Enterprise Make Give Live. The founder, Claire Kanza, says the letter from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex that arrived a few days before Christmas was a wonderful gift for the organization. Now, it makes sense why Make Give Live made a post seeking out to their followers for the Sussex's updated well-wisher address. The New Zealand Herald stated that the letter from the Duke and Duchess suggests Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern may have played a part in ensuring the message got to the couple. Lovely messages of support from around the world. Um, receiving, it's certainly mind-blowing receiving messages from people like the um, Duke and Duchess of, of Essex and the Queen. That's certainly not something you expect. But it's equally special to us, we're just those moments of people who who took time to send a little note, or a blanket, or a set of booties. Um, and once we're done with all of those, we'll make sure that we pass on that love to another family, another baby. And um, share uh, with all New Zealanders the uh, gift that we'll be making on their behalf, so a donation to a group called Lil Sprouts, who prepares baby boxes for families in need on the birth of, of their babies. And so we'll be purchasing 10 trees through the Trees That Count program, native trees to um, acknowledge the birth of their babies. So they'll be planted here in New Zealand as well. So I hope New Zealanders think those are nice gifts on their behalf. But also we'll be It said Jacinda Ardern had let them know we were trying to get in touch and that Archie continues to wear our beanies as they have one in every size. You'll recall that this isn't the first time the Sussexes have supported the organization. In a photo shared on the last day of December, 2019, it featured a picture of Harry and Archie at the end wearing a Make Give Live cockabear hat in Canada, which led to an overwhelming response of thousands of orders from around the world. Another analysis. Prince Harry plans UK visit to clinch extension to 12-month Megxit deal. Harry and Meghan are brokering an extension to the 12-month Megxit deal, and the prince plans to return here in the new year to seal it. They want a more permanent agreement to continue as non-working royals in California. 
They will make friendly video calls to senior royals next month, before Harry heads here for face-to-face -face talks, possibly accompanied by Meghan. Their deal with Buckingham Palace expires on March 31st. Talks are said to be less confrontational than at January Sandringham Summit. But royal aides will pour over the Netflix and Spotify deals, reportedly worth $130 million and $39 million respectively, to ensure they meet the values of Her Majesty. Harry and Meghan are said to be keen to hang on to their royal patronages, despite taking on more commercial commitments in the US. Sources say those roles remain on the negotiating table. And Harry's military roles, stripped in the bitter Megxit deal, remain vacant and will not be filled until next summer, at the earliest. And royal biographer Andrew Morton said the couple want to return, COVID restrictions willing, for the Queen's 95th birthday on April 21st, the Duke of Edinburgh's 100th, in June and the unveiling of a statue of Princess Diana on July 1st, what would have been her 60th birthday. He said, although they will do some of it by Zoom, Harry wants to meet face to face to tie it all up. Things seem to have calmed down. Harry has been in contact with the Queen more often than you would think. But certain things you need to be there in person to sort. They will need a few weeks. That could be done after April, depending on COVID. Harry and Meghan angered royals in January by announcing on Instagram they would step back as senior members of the royal family. A deal was subsequently agreed at Sandringham, including this 12-month review. The pair have moved on after what Andrew Morton called a pretty dismal time in their first few months in Canada and then the US. He added, you could see the trauma etched on their faces. They were barely on speaking terms with William and Charles. There was a period when Harry was uncertain, but not anymore. He is loving life in the sunshine, the pace of life, and lack of formality. This is what he has dreamed of for a long time. The rift between the two brothers is healing. It has been a good year and a bad year, court cases, paparazzi and, most difficult, Meghan having a miscarriage. But COVID has brought the family back together and forced Meghan and Harry to slow down and think. They have proved their point. Any conversation will be far more amicable. There are no plans to kick them out or get rid of their titles. Harry regrets the hasty statement last January that blindsided everyone. Biographer Robert Lacey, author of The Royal Exposed Battle of Brothers, added, Harry is the first spare to find a solution to being second born in the House of Windsor. They are normally told to get out and make a life of their own. That proved cruel to Princess Margaret and Andrew, but Harry has shot back. William opted for duty while Harry opted for love. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. As we say all the time, do not believe everything you read. The Daily Mail has retracted a defamatory article about Harry and apologized. But a little too late the damage has been done. Harry is a military man through and through, the way the press have treated this man. Clarifications and corrections. An article on the 25th of October 2020 reported that Prince Harry had been accused by a top general of turning his back on the Royal Marines since withdrawing from his military roles in March and that, in an apparent snub to the armed forces, he had failed to reply to a letter from Lord Dannett, a former chief of the general staff. We now understand that Harry has been in contact in a private capacity with individuals, in the military including, in the Royal Marines to offer informal support. Since March and that while he did not initially receive the letter from Lord Dannett referred to, in the article due to administrative issues he has since replied, on becoming aware of it. We apologize to Prince Harry and have made a donation to the Invictus Games Foundation. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.